Hello, third graders. My name is Vince, and this is my friend Larry. We're dummies. What Vince means to say is that we are crash test dummies. We ride in cars without wearing safety belts to show people what can happen when they don't wear their safety belts. Today, uh, an officer will talk to you about safety belts. We want you to listen very carefully because the officer is only talking to third graders. Everyone knows that third graders are smart. Hey, Vince. What, Larry? I have a great idea. Let's show this class what we do when we're not talking to them about safety belts. Oh, Larry. Then everyone will know what dummies we are for not wearing safety belts. That's okay. Everyone knows only dummies don't wear safety belts. We are the dummies crashing our crew, busting our heads just for you. My name is Vince, the job makes me sore. If you'd buckle up, I wouldn't do it no more. They call me Larry, I'm a dummy too. When you don't buckle up, the dummy is you. Buckle that belt. These are professional dummies. Do not attempt this at home. Buckle up, buckle up, buckle up. We know one thing to say, and we know we're not wrong. When you go for a ride, put your safety belt on. Charlie, looks like you could use a shoulder to cry on. There's one in here somewhere. Vince, what are you doing? Getting out of the crash dummy business. No way I'm ending up like Charlie there. But Vince, how else can we prove safety belts save lives? We could buckle up. How many times I gotta tell you we're dummies? We don't wear safety belts. <laughs> Vince, Larry, your number's up. Could save a life. No, I'm with you, partner. Yeah. Vince, break a leg. A regular comedian. You could... Hey! Vince, have you lost your head? That's what I'm trying to avoid, my friend. But Vince, if we don't belly up to the bullseye, how else can we prove that safety belts save lives? Oh, it ain't working, Larry. Nobody's listening. I'm sure they are. Look at them. They're buckled up. Hey. Them too. So maybe eating all these dashboard hors d'oeuvres is worth it. For sure. Hey, let's head back. Hey, buddy, I didn't know you knew how to drive. Drive? Drive? Whoa! We are all familiar with slow motion pictures that make airbags look like soft pillows when they inflate. But remember that a crash is over in a fraction of a second, so an airbag has to inflate very fast, and the inflating bag can injure people. First and foremost, never place a rear-facing infant restraint in the front seat of a vehicle with a passenger side airbag. In a crash, if the airbag inflates, it can hit the back of the restraint with enough force to seriously injure or even kill the baby. So don't do this. When children get too big for their child restraints, they may use booster seats to raise them up for a better fit into an adult safety belt. Or a child may be big enough to use an adult belt without a booster. Just be sure the lap belt fits low across the hips and the shoulder portion is comfortable. Don't ever allow a child to put a shoulder belt behind the back or under the arm. And still put children in the rear. If they must go in the front seat, Make sure the seat is positioned all the way back so a child is likely to be out of the path of a passenger airbag if it inflates. And don't let a child sit forward on the edge of a seat like some kids want to do. Even leaning forward to play with a radio or tape deck can put a child's head close to the airbag module. Never permit a child to lean forward and get close to the airbag. The force of an inflating airbag can cause serious injuries and even death. To help ensure your child's safety, use restraints properly and follow these simple precautions every time you put a child in a vehicle. This is important even if you're only going a few blocks. And remember, the safest place for infants and children is in the back seat. Hey, thanks to these airbags here, this job is now a piece of cake, Larry. But then... Yeah, I'll tell you something, partner. I just might stick around a few more years. But then... No more dashboard du jour or vents under glass, huh? But then... So look out! Ah! 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 Even with airbags, Vince, you still gotta remember to buckle your safety belt. Now you tell me. Hitting a windshield at 30 miles per hour is a lot like this! I'd give you a 10, my friend, but you didn't keep your legs together. Hey, we're, we're on. All right. Uh, when the officer has finished talking to you about safety belts, he or she will ask you to promise to wear your safety belt and remind others to buckle up. But remember, buckle up, third graders. Buckle up, third graders. <laughs> <laughs>